Well, 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 good late afternoon, West Ham fans. I am bloody freezing, but talking about Brazil is going to warm me up. A very chilly Russ from the West End Network. Hope you're all safe and well. Um, lunchtime, we, 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 we mixed up a little bit. Hammers headlines at lunchtime. Spoke about a couple of players we've been linked with. Um, also, West Ham are going to sell the club. And there's going to be a takeover in the new year. Okay, says the former Everton CEO, Keith Winers. So, um, believe that or you will. Um, at, in the morning, spoke about the return of the folk, potentially. Um in terms of Newcastle match. And uh, tomorrow we start all the lead up to the game on Monday against Newcastle. We've got um, an opposition fan as well, uh, a YouTuber. So that's going to be quite fun. Um, looking forward to that. We'll have the Lopetegui press conference with the return of the for sure counter and also the debut of the Focus Monitor. So we've got those to look forward to um, tomorrow at lunchtime. But what I wanted to do is... There's been a lot of Brazilian related news in the last sort of 48 hours. So I thought I'll put it all together. We'll call it the Samba Pit, the Samba Steiden, the Samba Steiden section. That's what we're going to do. All that Brazil is going to warm us all up because it's bloody freezing. So that's great. And let's start with a player we've been linked with quite heavily. Um, it was a player that got away from Tim originally. Um, was it last summer, I believe, the uh, Corinthian striker, Yuri Alberto? Um, now, according to the Brazilian media outlet, Chavilla, uh, West Ham could make a bid for the Corinthian striker in the January transfer window. Actually, it's before the January transfer window opens. I don't know how that works. Um, the Brazilian media outlet reported yesterday, or was it Tuesday, that the 23-year-old would command a fee of around £20 million uh, with the Hammers interested in his signature. Um, it's believed he's highly unlikely to remain in the Brazilian uh, Serie A next season, uh, given that he's already publicly admitted a desire to eventually play in the Premier League. And, and why not? Um, he has been on dazzling form this calendar year. The former Zenit St. Peter's striker has scored 27 goals in all competitions this calendar year, which I believe puts him like third in the all-time goal-scoring ranks for um, Corinthians in a, a calendar year. I think it's behind like R9 and Tevez or something like that. Um, he also scored in six successive, uh, you try and say that, six successive Serie A matches. Um, and that's all despite also facing competition from Memphis Depay, who they bought last summer. Um, I mean, 20 million quid, I mean, we paid 25 for Louis Guillermo, wasn't it? Um, it does... It, could be seen as a risk, um, but with the current state of our number nine situation at West Ham, could it be a whisk, a whisk worth taking? <laughs> could it be a risk worth taking? Um, I'm, I don't know. He's a good player. He's, he's a, he's a goal, natural goal scorer. Um, maybe it's something we've, I don't know, something we've missed, but someone who, I don't know. 20 million quid seems a bit of a, there is apparently money available for a striker. There'll be money made made available. That was going to Claret and Hugh uh, the other day. So, and Yuri was as a name that's been touted about. So, look, Steinman wanted him in the summer uh, last summer and went on the jet last day. Couldn't get it done over the over the uh, could get over the line. So let's see. As I said, with Brazilian players, it's more likely that they get sold during the January transfer window because of the way the Brazilian season runs. You know, in terms of a parallel uh, sort of a calendar in terms of a calendar year finishes in December so you're more likely to get them um in at the end of um of that year into January so let's keep an eye on that one shall we and uh obviously uh, Brazil played in the international break and Lucas Paqueta played or you say played kind of um he's got the work weight in his shoulders at the moment doesn't he um he's been woeful um his form hasn't been great for, for club or country, plus he's got all these charges over his head, and as a result, he's lost his starting lineup spot in the, um, the Brazilian national side, um, particularly for these November internationals. Um, Brazil have drawn both games one all. Um, they drew against Venezuela, and then they played Uruguay. Was it last night? If not the night before, um, 
and he was a substitute and brought on for the last four minutes. Despite coming on for four minutes, he still managed to get a booking. It's like, fucking hell, mate. Don't make it easy on yourself, Lucas. Um, but the Brazilian media outlet goal still gave him a six out of ten for four minutes and said he couldn't make anything happen, albeit with limited time on the pitch. A few nice touches, but could never make anything concrete happen. That just sounds like that just sounds like him and 90 minutes of West Ham at the moment. But um, obviously, we do have the court case coming up on the 3rd of December, um, which is, coincides with the Leicester City game. Um, and and so uh, it, it's believed he will not be available for the Leicester City game. But then that should mean the return of Caduce, I believe. Um, so one in, one out. Um, but he wasn't the only player who was on of West Ham interest who was on display for that match. Igor Tudor, he was also playing the match. Didn't play very well, actually, to be honest. He got a four out of ten. Um, and was said by the um and he was said by the same uh, media outlet that he never made his mark. Uh he was anonymous, um, pretty much anonymous. It was difficult to see what he offers, um, to see what he offers over Endrick. We're gonna talk about Endrick in a minute, but um so we've obviously been linked to Igor Tudor as well, well the Botafogo striker. Now, similar age to Yuri Alberto, both 23, I believe. Um, but there is a little wrinkle in this sort of whole pantomime when it comes to Jesus. Um, in that, um, yeah, it's Jesus. You know, so I call it, it's not Igor Tudor. Igor Tudor he's a, was a centre-half, wasn't he? He was like, he's like a manager now. Igor Jesus. <laughs> That's who I meant. Sorry, everybody. It's very cold. My brain's going, it's shutting down by the sounds of the cold weather. But um, uh, Botafogo is owned by John Textor, who he also owns Leon. We know Leon are in a lot of trouble. Um, they have a, a debt of nearly £500 million pounds they need to clear. And if they don't do it satisfactorily uh, by the end of this season, they will get relegated to League 2. Now, um, we still are have some sort of financial connection with Leon. In fact, you know, in terms of we still owe money to Luke for Lucas Paqueta transfer. Um, they owe us money for um, the Ben Rama transfer. So there's still that sort of um needle there but apparently because of that it could mean that um Jesus could be available for transfer in essence um John Texas but said he's gonna have to sell players from both teams um in order to get the money together to pay off the debt um so it could mean a a move for uh Jesus could be on the cards in January whether a loan whether an option to buy an obligation to buy or maybe an outright buy with the money that apparently is being put aside for a striker I do not know but uh, by hook or by crook it looks like we will be signing a new a new forward in January um and it could be Yuri Alberto it could be Jesus it could be a number of other players as well be linked with um one person it's not going to be is the Brazilian uh, prodigy, 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 yep, Endrick. According to uh, recent reports, West Ham were apparently one of the teams who showed interest in the Real Madrid player during the summer um, and were inquiring about taking him on loan. The online, uh, several online sources reported that despite a number of interested clubs during the last international window, um, Real Madrid decided to keep the 18 year old. Uh, at the Bernabeu rather than loan him out. Now, he's only made a handful of appearances from Madrid since moving to Spain. Um, clearly a very talented prospect uh, and uh, with more games played uh, for the national side than actually for Real Madrid. And indeed, one of the outcomes from that goal um, player ratings was what did Jesus offer that uh, Endrick didn't. Obviously, Endrick came from the same... Um, same side as uh, Luis Guilherme and, and maybe the idea was to have them both sort of learn together so to speak or I don't know but apparently we did try and put a bid in uh, to take the 58 million pounds try uh, sort of forward on loan from Real Madrid um, there we go but they want they have forget swap deal hashtag make it happen make it happen Stein <laughs> And that's it, my friends. A little trip down the Copacabana. Hopefully that warmed you up. Um, I probably made you more depressed, even more cold, to be perfectly honest. But, as I said, looking forward to the weekend. Um, West Ham can't ruin it till Monday. Um, but we should potentially have some really 
cool content coming on. We've got some, um, uh, as I said, opposition fans, which I'm really looking forward um, to having on and talking about the game ahead on Monday. And uh, we're working on a really good My Hammers 11, which might drop this weekend. Like breaking news. I've got text today um if not it'll be early next week i would hope um but we've got some really good interviews lined up next couple of weeks so make sure you keep an eye on that until next time take care stay safe stay warm stay humble keep the faith go on your own